Hello, world. Joe DeCharis, CPA extraordinaire, coming to you live from downtown Metro Manila for another exciting interview with our resident expert on, on getting clients, LinkedIn, and uh, just uh, being a, uh, an awesome mom, among other things. Welcome, Coach Yanyan. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Happy Monday, everyone. So for those who's watching, good evening, everyone. Yes. And I know you always have an entourage of, of <laughs> followers. Uh, How's your birthday, by the way, before we forget? How's your oh, birthday? Oh, it's excellent. I, I've been telling everybody it's the best birthday I've had since last year. Really? So, it's a simple birthday with your loved yeah. ones. Yes, a lot of uh, happy birthdays. Uh, yes, and thank you, you and the, the rest of the Dead Rock team for the uh, the excellent uh, birthday surprise. It was uh, it was delicious. <laughs> yeah, I spent the day with my girlfriend. Uh, we went to the casino, and I actually didn't lose that much money, and we had a lot of <laughs> So, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I wound up losing like a thousand pesos. So it was, uh, and if I don't don't lose that much, it's a win. It's a win. Yes. So, one thousand is only yeah. you know it's only fifty. How much? Yes. Two dollars or not? Twenty dollars. No, like eight, eighteen dollars, I think. Eighteen dollars. Yeah. Good evening, yeah. Annabelle. Yeah. Annabelle is here, yes. And uh, so tonight, you know, we spent a lot of weeks just talking about LinkedIn. And I'll mm -hmm. tell you, I, you know, you taught me a lot about LinkedIn, and I've been going into it a lot more. And I realized, uh, you know, because now I've, you know, I reach my limit on how many people I can connect with. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the, the message came up that I could follow people. So following somebody, I guess, is not the same as connecting. Do you know, can you be connected and follow them? Or are you already? Both. I think both. Connect and follow. You can follow them and connect. There's an options on LinkedIn. Connect and follow. Yes. Okay. Connect and follow. So but there's I don't some know the difference as well. I don't know also yeah. the difference. I'll have to check on my chat GPT because <laughs> that's that's yeah. become my uh, my go-to person. But what I I got I have and I didn't even realize this. I have 9,500 connections and like almost 9,000 followers. Wow. So and most of it, I think most of it's happened in the last like six months i haven't been active on linkedin for years for years because i kept getting spammed i kept getting you know insurance all the financial people that want to sell to an accountant uh, so i just avoided it and then i realized i said i to do what i have to do that to do what i want to do i need to be on linkedin because that that's where all the 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 business people are. Facebook is great. Facebook is great uh, for me, for the group. So uh, that's how I make it. So I spend a lot of time on Facebook because, you know, that's where my groups are. I've been spending a lot of time on LinkedIn. But there's a lot of, of features on LinkedIn that I had no idea about. For instance, I just thought because I got a newsletter from one of my clients. I was like, this is interesting. So you can do a newsletter on LinkedIn. Yes, there yeah. is. So I did, and then you could schedule it. So I made a mistake. I actually, I did three newsletters. I scheduled one for because I want to do one every week. I scheduled one for next week. And then I, I hit publish. So I published two yesterday. And I actually already have, like, the last time I looked, I had 288 subscribers. Nice. Like, that's pretty powerful. Yeah. That's pretty powerful. So now I got, yeah. 
And then I had I was, a... didn't explore I, that yet. Soon, I will explore. But I think that's powerful. You have at least, you know, engagement every week for them. If you want to share yeah, something. Yeah, you can actually... It's different, than, it's different than just doing a post. And then I think when... Mm -hmm. I guess when people are subscribed, you know that they're going to get the newsletter. So, you know, I, I, I've been personally creating a lot of content. You know, I read a lot. I, I, I write. And so creating content for me is, is not that difficult, especially now I have ChatGPT. Agree. So <laughs> Blog post. Yeah, yeah. Very so, helpful. you know, so, and I have the paid version, but they also have free versions. So for people that are that are watching, uh, and you do have, we have uh, ten Mary million viewers. It's Luz, Elsie, yeah. Israel, Mary yeah. Vic, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Israel. So Israel was a uh, a guest on my Friday night uh, student interview. So we've been interviewing students. So the, the people in Jumpstart, this, this information is extremely valuable because it's a way for you to get your name out there without spending any money. Yeah, you got to invest the time, right? But you got to spend time. If you want to have an agency, you're going to have to invest time, right? It doesn't just happen overnight. And to do a newsletter on on linkedin all you got to do is you go to the uh whatever that box is where you're going to post and on the right hand side you have an option to do a newsletter and mm -hmm. i was like this is this is easy it's it's simple you know now maybe for some people writing is you know they they can't they haven't written they haven't written yet, but you know, and you taught me this, just write about what's going on with you, what your, what your struggles are, right? Yeah. What your wins are. People just want to hear from you. Would that be accurate? Yes. Yes. Today, uh, I was looking through my Facebook and, and Bella was, was looking and she saw you, she's a fan of yours now. And she sees uh, two things, two things. And, and first she sees, oh, Marianne's hiring. What is she yeah. hiring for? <laughs> your task-wise thing. I was like, oh, my God, you're hiring for a legal, para, a paralegal for a law firm, accountants, bookkeepers, virtual assistants. So yeah, yeah, you're, posting, <laughs> yeah, you're posting it out there. And I'm like, my girlfriend saw it. So, <laughs> Want she wants to apply? <laughs> I don't She's know. I don't know. That yeah. Would be a conflict because yeah. Thank you. We have to talk about that. <laughs> but the the point is the power of social media, right? The power of social media, uh, and now I think since COVID, because people are online more than ever. And you could connect with people that, that you never were able to connect with. You could connect with influencers, right? I, I see what you've done with the uh, the top 100 LinkedIn influencers. So I'm that gets. I'm, I'm always sorry? wearing this one. I'm wearing the jacket. Oh, wow. So oh, cool. Like, <laughs> so I yeah. always wear this Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now that gives you uh, obviously credibility, but now that expands your your network, yes. right? Yeah. So, and I know that you've been uh, you've been helping me and jumpstart. You know, every week we have an expert coming on. And you've you've reached out to your network, and and they give every week. I'm learning something something new. This week was uh, what was Confidence. her name? Darby. Darby, Delby. Right? Delby. 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 Also one of the top 100 on LinkedIn. Yeah, and she talked about uh, over 
building up your confidence, right? Mm -hmm. Which is important for a, a lot of people. You know, accountants are, are really, you know, the per and I'm an introvert, right? You're not an introvert. <laughs> not, no. uh, I don't think you're an accountant. Nobody will right? believe that I'm introvert. <laughs> you know, and we had Cap and ha Anderson on, right? Is it Henderson or Anderson? Who's Cap, that? The guy that wears baseball cap. And he was talking about, you know, how to be successful as an introvert. Right, yeah. And, Cap. You know, all of these topics are important. They're all important because. You know, there's not like a, uh, what would I say, like a cookie cutter recipe for starting an agency. Okay, and we're, we're going to get into this uh, because a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with working on yourself. W would you agree with that? Yeah, because you, you mentioned that all of the information is already on social media so for those i always said to those person or people who's losing hope on getting clients it's just a matter of being resourceful on where they can find the jobs i always tell them the the one you share that 26 million business owners and even i have a client talking to different accounting firm in the u.s they totally agree that there's a huge huge scarcity and demand when it comes to bookkeeper and accountant uh, one of the firm in Miami, Florida, even told us that the people in America are hard-headed. They don't want to learn the accounting anymore. So that's why they love Filipino. They love how how's the culture of the Philippine, how they work. So it's really true. Even th That's why I'm always amazed when the American always vouch the Filipino because of our work ethics and culture. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, and to be honest with you, you know, I remember when I was growing up and the American culture, it's changed. It's changed. Mm -hmm. You know, you have like my kids are what they call millennials. Mm -hmm. And yet we have, you know, whole, uh, what do you call it? Tens, maybe a hundred million people that grew up with cell phones and you know, so when I was growing up, we went out and played with our friends, right? Now, kid, they don't go out. So the whole American culture really has shifted. When I was younger, it was it reminds me of the way the Philippines are now. So, you know, that's why I think the American uh, people really... Uh, relate can identify with the philippine culture yeah right so yes. but the accounting shortage and this is great news for for all philippine accounts the accounting shortage isn't just in the united states i think it's a worldwide no. problem yeah. right so you have australia you have canada you have the u.s uh all countries that speak english too Agreed. Right. Yeah. Uh, if you speak Spanish, I'm sure that Mexico and Spain and, you know, then you have the European countries. So, you know, there's uh, I call it the perfect storm of opportunity. Yeah, that's and why we're you know, here to educate those Filipino accountants. That's why I'm always saying for those accounting graduate, you have a great, great future. You don't need to go to to other country to to work because the opportunity is already here all you have to do is you know collaborate you know support community support and upskill continuous learning before i come in there's a lot of inquiry now in the community asking for u.s tax they want to learn how to do the u.s tax and and so you know there's a hiring of tax preparer and bookkeeper and I have the the video of those interviews that if you say to, to the accountant or accounting firm that you learn about enroll agent and the US tax, it's a plus factor. So one of the question, I I share one of the question of the tax firm, how would you 
uh, prepare yourself or update yourself to the IRS. What is your, you know, what are the things that you're doing to really learn and update yourself on the IRS? So that's a good thing. Meaning, even in uh, America, they really want someone who knows tax, the form, actually the 1099, those 1120s. Now I can relate, but while I'm listening in the interview, I'm still le I'm learning a lot. And even the, what's the code for the form for the nonprofit 990? Oh, the 990. Yeah, so uh, in, in, meaning I even in the um, interview, listening on to the, the to the question and answer of the client and the the VAs, I'm learning while I'm listening to them. So I, I am so amazed that we're really on the right path, teaching those accountants to learn new tax and payroll. Yeah. You know, this what's going on now, remind, and I wasn't in a position to capitalize on this because I didn't have the background. When when compute when desktop computers first because when I started desktop computers didn't exist okay we did accounting by hand so first you had that watershed uh event where now everybody needs was starting to use computers so if you you know if you had that knowledge it was like unlimited opportunities you could become a computer programmer you could fix computers you could learn about the different software programs so that was like an unbelievable opportunity and that's part of why there's an accounting shortage a lot of people that may have gone for accounting said hey i could become a computer programmer right mm -hmm. and then the internet when the internet started now all of a sudden you need people that can do web design graphics uh you know i have a friend that became rich just hosting websites yes. so, and i'm looking at what's going on in the accounting industry right now and i'm like oh my god this is like those two events that were like oh and then you had apple apple which became almost like a cult so yeah. <laughs> all of that that drained the talent you know, you know, if I was going back, if I, if I was going to school now, I don't know if I would go. Well, actually, no, I would go to school for accounting because of the opportunities. <laughs> yeah. I went to school over 40 years ago. Accounting was the opportunity. You know, people that went to school for computers, they, they were like, oh, they're geeks. Who wants to learn? <laughs> Computer, computers were like mainframes you yes. know the old uh, computer with the white you know the the old old type of computer the dos the, the lotus right. one oh, the, the big computers so uh but they they were in the right place at the right time and that's yeah. where i believe all of the philippine accountants are you know i see people like uh hi like sir Rafi, uh Accounting people. Yeah. And, you know, so these workshops that we've been doing every week, the uh, what you're doing, the accounting people's, where you're actually introducing people, hey, you could be a freelance accountant, right? Mm -hmm. Like, this is really, really something to, for everyone to be excited about uh, because, yeah. you know, because you know what, uh, I just like today, I you see my post. Imagine three years ago, I started freelancing and started this kind of working remotely. And still, there's a lot of people doesn't know how to do it. So meaning, you know, the, every week, every month, really there's opportunity for, for growth and learning. So we just need to educate them that, again, hey, there's an opportunity just uh just watch out and follow us you know learn from us and learn from our mistakes and of course our in a way success story they call it success story to follow and also to to be an inspiration that there's always a big opportunity for an accountant if you only knew how big 
It's like an ocean. You have to really it swim. Is. You just have it to is. swim. And, and sometimes, you know, people could get lost in the ocean. And, and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. A ca taxes, because there's the, we talk about income taxes, right? But then because people kept asking me about learning payroll. So then I created the payroll course. Now and now people are asking me about sales tax. So I created a, I'm creating a sales tax course. Both of those types of taxes, you could make a career out of them. You could only do sales taxes and, and create an agency just specializing in sales taxes. You could create your own payroll agency and only do that. You could, and, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about this in Jumpstart. You could decide, hey, I like working for not for profits and make a career out of that. I like, so I see Malona a lot. You, you know Malona, right? Yeah, yeah. He's always talking about real estate accounting. So you can niche down. So there, there's all kinds of opportunities for, for all of them. But now let's get to the topic for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I because, thought that's the topic already. <laughs> well, I, I love to talk about Jumpstart and what you're doing with, with the counting peoples and your elite program because you're really, uh, you're a real influence. And to me, an influencer isn't, oh, I have this many followers. It's how many people are you helping, right? How many people are you uh, introducing to this opportunity? And you're introducing uh, tens of thousands, literally, between your LinkedIn uh, followers and your Facebook group, uh, so you're a, what I call a trailblazer, okay? Like you said, three years ago, you weren't doing this, right? Yeah. And before I met you, I didn't even know, four years ago, I didn't know about the Philippine accountants. And I talk about that. I tried every other country. Somehow I skipped, all, skipped over the Philippines. So, yeah, this is a new... Uh, it's really, and you know, Bedrock's mission is to disrupt the U.S. accounting industry. And I know your word for the year was disrupt, right? Yes, you told me that. <laughs> so, but all that being said, you know, all this opportunity, mm -hmm. I always say you need two things to start a business. Number one is you need revenue. In the accounting business, the revenue comes from, from getting clients, right? The yeah. next thing you need is cash flow. But being accountants, I don't think the accountants need too much help with cash flow. They, they know it. <laughs> so the, the thing I wanted to talk about tonight with you was really about your ability to get clients. Now you get you. So your background, so you were in the insurance industry. I was in that industry for a little while and you got to, it's always marketing, prospecting and selling, right? You're yeah. in the real estate industry, right? So you have training in this. Most accountants um, don't. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I started as an online seller way back 2017 before I become, that's why my unit head in insurance company saw a potential in me that because I can sell Korean products that time. It's like a bulk or there's like a box and I just posted in social media. The first thing that I do that time is message one by one all of my friends, hey, I have a product, would you like to buy? And there's one classmate that trust me buy one product my first ever product that he she bought from me and then from then i post in social media the proof 
and they have a good reviews on that product and then all of my classmates already buying and then i even went from batangas to antipolo to get the supplies and sell it online so then my unit head saw me you have a potential to become an insurance agent so why not join us so that's the that's the reason uh i my teacher in mba taught me that just try marketing maybe this is your this is your way of you know other skills you should try so i tried. yeah so wait before you go on because you said a couple of important things you started one by one right yes you contacted your friends yes you contacted Army. people you already know so larry my coach uh, and our partner in jumpstart calls that an affinity group okay yes center of one person at a time you just and all you did was tell them hey i'm selling these products right yes so it's the same thing i say with accounting you just you go to the people you know and you say listen i'm starting an accounting agency and my advice is don't try to get them as a client my advice is hey i'm starting an accounting agency let me know if there's anybody i might be able to help yeah. right it's yeah. as simple as that okay you don't have to be you don't have to worry about fear you already know these people and guess what they want to help you and here's the other thing i learned marianne when i get referrals it's because they want to help those people yeah. so for the people that are sending us referrals they they're helping me and they're helping the person because that person has a need right yes yeah so that that's uh so your journey what you did that's how people can start their agency so what did they teach you because now we're on, on this so now you get into the insurance industry which is prob probably the hardest type of product to yeah sell <laughs> because yes. it's it's not a product right it's product, intangible you cannot see that product it's intangible you cannot see it you cannot feel it it's very yeah. hard and who needs insurance i only need insurance when i have a problem so i'm not paying for it before right accounting is listen the government's bothering me i have a problem i need an insurance isn't like that so how what was your approach in in trying to yeah. sell insurance? that time i remember that's also the good thing about having a mentor my unit had told me i remember march 2020 before pandemic i was also literally literally crying because i want to give up already i don't want to be unit head anymore because there's a quota and there's a target of people to be recruited and to to sell so i told him i want to give up and she told me i still remember every time i want to give up you mentioned start with your wife so she, she mentioned Think about your son, your family, and God. That's the three person that you should consider. And then just try. And when you wake up, you already know what to do. That's why I did. I learned FB ads that time. And that's where I get the clients, recruitment and sales. And by March 20, 2020, seven sales. And April 10, sales, even pandemic. But the approach is very hard because you really have to, the word is to educate, not to sell. That's really the important, just educate them. Just now, even before we go live, one of my clients from insurance company told me, are you still in the insurance company? I have a referral friend for you. So it still really works. So the core, the core, maybe the, that's the secret. I always told my, my mentees, start with the foundation, which is building relationship. Every day, if you have some inquiry, just answer, educate them what to do. And that person will remember you on doing so. And then they will come back, oh, this Miss Yanyan answer my inquiries. So maybe she's the best person to go to. So 
yeah, that's it. There's no selling. Just educate them. Although in insurance, it's very, really very hard because, again, you cannot feel it and see it. Normally, <laughs> we said, if you're going to die, your family will get this much. So it's very, you know, it's like a guilty, we call it guilty tripping sales yeah. value. So, yeah. yeah. You're not buying it for yourself. You're buying it for the people you love. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a hard sell. <laughs> And it's very hard to tell that if you want if you're gonna die your family will get this one million pesos but you have to really it depends on the it's also there's a, some part they told they taught us to really filter also the the client there's some questions how urgent they need if they, they there's no urgency on their need that's not your ideal client you have some question uh on uh you know entertaining with the clients question to, to put in the client that they can it's answerable by yes or no is this urgent if yes i'm gonna continue the presentation if not maybe we'll talk about next month i'll go back up six months or next yeah. year so you're talking really about qualifying the client yes we can cover that next week where we can do a deep dive into avatars right yeah. uh so you so the important part that you mentioned is educating right you're educating them so you know start with the people you know one at a time yeah one at a time i think is important uh because you can't let's face it if i had 10 clients to onboard now and i'm doing this a long time i have a team we have all these processes if i had 10 new clients to sign to onboard today i mean we would do it we'd figure out a way but that's a lot of clients it's a lot easier to onboard one one client at a time because guess what you, you don't just take them as a client we have to educate them a lot of what we do at bedrock is educating them this is what we need you to do this is why we want you to do it and, and that's it that's client onboarding but let's get to what you do today because i try to follow your formula okay because your formula works it works <laughs> and i was sitting here like how yeah. are you getting all of these people to join accounting peoples and you told me you told me you said i know where they are <laughs> and i know what they want yes right? every so, day there's a lot as looking for opportunities they want to learn some some of the posts in facebook group i'm looking for a job I want to work from home. I have experience, eight years experience in accounting, doing this, but I don't know where to start. I don't know where to apply. And then I think accounting people go there. And then there's an the inquiry I will answer. So, so let, okay, so now, so you're talking about, so getting people into your Facebook group, right? Yes. So what do you do? Do you like, connect with them or do you just give them a link and invite them to the group yeah i tag the group and then answer a while ago there's some inquiry about yeah like uh if there's any course teaching australian bookkeeping i want to learn if there's a course in u.s tax where i can learn this one so i'll just tag the community and then if they message me i will walk through the the process where is the when will be the course will happen what is your expectation just join this group just join this skype group chat so you know i'll assist them then uh answer their inquiries yeah and then after they join you you give them a lot of value you don't just yeah. you know oh mm -hmm. join the group but you're always active in there you, you have a lot of courses uh then you do your what is it every morning you check in with them you say good morning yeah good morning just to set the day that's sort of to say that i'm my thoughts are with you so i think that's the most important thing in and that's I, that's uh, why you know yeah. when i met you you had 1500 members 
But what got me was the activity. You know, I knew, I, I had a friend once, she had 80,000 people in her group. Think about that, 80,000 people. And you had more activity with 1,500. And the reason is because of what you do on, on a regular basis. Because so that's a, a consistency habit, because habit builds your discipline and identity. Yes. So let's end this with what I think everybody wants to know, because, you know, I have a couple of communities. I have the Jumpstart and I have the uh, Tax Preparer Group. Uh, and we ask them, what is your most pressing issue? And I'd say 95% of them say what? What do you think get they the say? Yeah, How do I get clients? So not only, you know, so you built up this tremendous group. I've never seen people close clients like you. Okay. So I'm good at closing them, but most of them come to me from referrals. You're going out there getting cold leads. Cold so emails. You... I do quite emails now and it works. I think through two cold emails and it works. But you need people's email address. I have because I'm good at lead generation. <laughs> I know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's a key. That's that's a big key. You know, my friend John Limbacher, he he puts because he loves fishing. Everything he teaches is oh, if you know, if you want to catch this kind of fish, you got to know where they are. Yes. Right. So and you got to know their asset number one asset. Remember the time that Meta Facebook crash? I'm not panicking because I know I have their emails. Yeah, I learned that too with this marketing group I was in. They said. Your email list is your most valuable asset. Facebook, LinkedIn, they change their algorithms. They'll ban you. I got like my advertising on Facebook got shut down like two or three times. They don't even tell you why. They're like, you violated the rules. I'm like, which one? You know, so yeah, your email list is important. But what do you do? So, okay, I got, I have. 9,000. No, we have 14,000 emails. What do you do with the email that you're but getting? Of course, none of them are will be active or opening. That's why you really have to create an activity and learn what it's their what's their pain point. I remember I sent one email and the, the, the girl after I sent an email, then she asked me, where did you get my email? How do you learn that I'm aspiring freelancer? So meaning, uh, because in the community, there's a few questions before you can enter in the community. So what's the purpose of joining? Most of them are have, yeah, looking for a job, want to learn, want to learn bookkeeping, aspiring. Only four, looking for a job, want to learn bookkeeping, you know, uh, aspiring freelancers, and just, you know, continuous learning. So that's it. So you cannot go wrong with that problem. So you have all you have well, to you do already is know you already know because these are people that joined your group, correct? Yes. Every day okay. I read those answer. I'm reading the answer. What about you, you have a formula on LinkedIn. On okay, LinkedIn? Which, <laughs> yeah. So I tell me if I'm wrong. You make the connection, right? Yes. And then you offer them something like a checklist. Uh, now ebook. Today I posted, and if you want to be a freelancer and want my ebook copy, so they will leave their email before getting the ebook. Okay, so you're giving that to them, and you get. So what do they? They have to go to your website and download it. No, yeah, there is a site that you have to download the ebook, and then they will need. Of course, the email before they we will send the PDF copy of that ebook. That ebook okay, is. Okay, so what do you? You have a landing page then, right? Yes, yes. Okay, and so what we're talking about really are lead magnets. Yes. 
right? And honestly, I've heard about lead magnets for years, and I'm like, what the heck is a lead magnet? So <laughs> now I know it could be an ebook checklist or big. Cheat sheet. Yeah. I'm sorry. Cheat sheet. Yeah, we call it cheat sheet. Okay, you call it a cheat sheet. And again, now you, you can create an ebook from ChatGPT. Yeah, I did it for one of the AI. I asked them to create me an ebook about this one, and I put my pictures. And that's it. Yeah, and uh, it works. That's the bottom line. It works. So mm -hmm. you find out where they are, you find out their pain point, and then you educate them. You give them something that they can use. Now you got their email. Now you got a chance. Hey, listen, and this is what I learned about marketing. First role is you give them something, right? You give them value, teach them something. Then what you want, and we can go through this the next time. What you want to do is get them to buy something. Get them to buy something for a little bit of money. And I learned that there's a psychology behind that. Because you're not going to sell a big ticket item to somebody right away. If you That's get them to open up their wallet, give you their credit card, what they're saying subconsciously is, I trust this person. So then when you want to hit them with a big item, they, they already trust you. So you don't need to sell them anymore. They're yeah. ready to buy. Right. That's why. So when I tell people, listen, payroll is a great product to, to put out there. Why? Because you could do it very inexpensively. They don't have to know, like, and trust you. Okay. Payroll is like a commodity. The, the American people are going to go with how much are you going to charge me? And the cheapest ones out there are $50 for one person. And you got to do it yourself. So we start, and I haven't started marketing this yet, but we offer it to our clients for $30 a month. It's still a good product. We make money on it. But once we have them as a payroll client, Marianne, mm -hmm. now we can offer them the taxes, the accounting, the bookkeeping upsell yes upsell <laughs> we'll talk about that next week all right thank all you right. Marianne. thank you so much thank and you. for those watching on linkedin there's a 9 million viewers on linkedin and 13 million in fb group so 15 million in fb group thank you so much for all watching right. all right thank you everyone god bless have a good night and we will see you again next week with another uh training exercise right marianne we we teach yeah Thank this you. is no more secret <laughs>